Hello all, uh, welcome to Signals and Systems channel and this video will be studying about the envelope detector. This is the popular scheme used in the demodulation of amplitude modulated signals. So we want to get a message back. So that's why we do demodulation of PM signal and this is uh, by far the cheapest receiving circuit you'll ever get in signals and systems. So this is the envelope detector. So before explaining y'all uh, the working of envelope detector, I would like to uh, explain some things. So as you can see, any AM signal can be represented by a simple equation. That is S of t is equal to C plus M of t cos omega t, where C is the amplitude of carrier and M of t is a message signal. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, cos omega c t, sorry, where omega c is uh, the frequency of the carrier. So what happens? This is our AM signal and our message is somewhere lying here. So if we somehow devise a tactic to retrieve this part, that is c plus m of t, then we can get a message signal back. So that's the basic logic of envelope detector. This amplitude as you can see carrier plus message signal is called the envelope. As you can see this is our uh, mod, uh, AM signal this is S of T and the C plus M of T is nothing but the peak values of this signal. So uh, what you are seeing in the green sketch is the envelope of s of t so the circuit which i have drawn here will detect the envelope of this signal that is the signal so it depends uh, mon uh, mainly on the time constant that is that is equal to rl into c and uh, this is the circuit we have used a diode we'll uh, assume this as an ideal diode that is this diode D will uh, get forward bias if you apply voltage which is greater than 0 volt and RF is the forward bias resistance of the diode resistance of a diode so we can say this as resistance of forward by diode and when it is forward bias when forward bias okay so this will be very small negligible so our uh, EM signal that is will get charged pretty quickly this will get charged very soon and this should discharge very like it should take a lot of time to discharge then only we can retain the voltage so if we had gone through any peak detector circuit earlier then uh, we can correlate the circuit with that because this is basically a peak detector circuit uh, you can see the a link below I've mentioned in my just below this video about the peak detector circuit and the simulation then it will be easy for you so this should be very fast and this should be very slow process that's the basic logic so there are three cases uh, which we'll discuss in the case of envelope detector mainly based on this RLC it should be the optimum value of RL into C this product what is the optimum value okay so so for proper working of envelope detector uh, we need a condition that is 1 over fc that is frequency of carrier should be much much lesser than rl into c where rl is the load resistor and c is the capacitor this is a time constant tau which i was talking about so 1 over fc should be much much lesser than rl into c it should be much much lesser than 1 over fm where fm is a message signal 
so this is my message frequency and this is my carrier frequency and this is the time constant okay so for proper working we should satisfy this equation so let me show you the three scenarios this is the first scenario where RL into C is properly designed that is uh, it satisfies that equation so as you can see this is a EM wave and uh, which is fed as an input to the envelope detector so this is the output which we get as you can see we have traced the envelope of the EM signal so as I had stated earlier if you get the uh, envelope of EM signal you can retrieve your message signal so we can retrieve the message signal in this case so let's see another case where RL into C is poorly designed that is RL into C value is much much less it is very small value so if RL into C the product of RL into C is less then we get the envelope in this shape because it will follow each end like every wave based on the EM signal so you cannot get the proper message signal so it is uh, clearly not satisfying the equation uh, this is the second case where the product of uh, the time constant RL into C is very very small it is chosen very small uh, okay so this is the third case where the product RL into C is much much large so as you can see it is totally ignoring this part okay so this is our EM signal but we are missing this part so we will lose uh, a lot of message if we design in this way so the proper design is this one okay so please uh, what, go through the envelope de uh, director design and uh, simulate once if possible then you will get a ideal result so thanks for watching please subscribe our channel uh, this is the only signals and systems and communication systems channel on the youtube well until then goodbye